Okay, I'm gonna start. So you just shut your trap. <laughs> hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for You, and welcome back to my kitchen. I have a super treat. I've got a guest behind me. Do you see her? That's my mommy. Hello. She is back there cleaning gizzards for us. <laughs> now, I have not had gizzards in well over 20 years, but as a kid, this is something we always ate was gizzards and noodles and gravy. Chickens have two stomachs and they're connected by a tendon and that three unit thing is called the gizzard. And I guess those stomachs just really kind of just smash and smash the food. It's very different than the way we break food down with acid. So we are gonna go sneak over and watch my mommy clean the gizzards because there is a way of cleaning them so we don't eat a bunch of yucky stuff. Okay, so here we have the gizzards. So we have over there the unclean and she was saving some for us. Oh, we have a heart. Chicken yeah, heart, we bonus. found. Bonus, a couple chicken hearts in there. Now this one's pretty bad here. This is what you do not want to leave in your gizzard. It's kind of like the coating on the top, but not all of them have it. And why they left it in there, I don't know. Oops, I Well, can't. I mean, it is gizzard. I mean, people that are eating gizzard are, you know. Well, they don't know what Simple they're. country folk like us. This is the part the esophagus hole. And you do not want to eat that either. And do you remember why, or you just don't like looking at it? I do not want to eat that. Okay. <laughs> I could wear it for a ring. <laughs> that we're going to cut out with scissors. Okay. Okay. And here's a piece of wood I found in here. Well, isn't that interesting? I found wood in bags of beans. Yep. Yeah. Now they're in gizzards. Yeah. Maybe it was in their stomach. Oh, it could have been. Yeah. It could have been. See how nice that is, then? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to clean them up a little bit. Okay. Rinsing off the chicken. You're always bellies. supposed to rinse any kind of chicken you make. Yeah, well, sometimes I'm lazy. Well, yeah, yeah. rinse it, okay? Okay. All right. Could and be that's... some yucky bacteria or something. We're just getting rid of it. You think water's gonna wash it I, off? You want me to put some bleach on? <laughs> That's what they do with ground beef. Oh no, don't. ammonia. Ammonia. They put ammonia. Okay. okay next step. Okay. okay. How about a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of flour? Okay. So we're putting this all in a ziploc. Just Let's we're not gonna measure. No. Of course. Oh, there's a lot of gizzards. Yeah, those are a lot of gizzards. You we can always add more flour yeah, if you necessary. Think that's enough? I don't think it is. I don't think it's easy either. Those yeah. are, yeah. Okay. okay. So All that right. much flour. I don't Go measure ahead. a thing, guys. We have onion powder and garlic powder we use for these. Okay. Just putting it in. This is oh, you need pepper too. No. You can't forget my pepper. You know my mother loves her pepper. Gotta have my pepper. We're not gonna put a whole lot in there. Oh, really? <laughs> and then salt and pepper. Pinch. Big pinch. One, two. Pepper, whoops, my glasses are falling. I gotta do some. If you don't like pepper, don't put it in. But... She told you. <laughs> it's not coming out. Oh. <laughs> I see it's not coming out. Okay, that might okay. be enough. I'll mix all that up. Just close it. Oh. You're now pretty it's with our pinks. Well, You're plum. Purple. You're plum. Okay, get those gizzards. Okay, now gizzards go in, all clean. No, not all of them. Shake them and take oh. those out. And then... Oh, or do I put them? We need something to put them on? Yep. Or your skillet. All right. Oh. Well, no, because we have that high. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're breading our gizzards. Yes. Gizzard breading. So you shake them as you take them out. Oh, now they're starting to look good. And this is the way my mom did them. Okay. And my mom grew up on a farm, so you yep. did not get rid of anything. We ate everything. 
even the sack that the eggs come through the chicken. My mom used to clean that and we used to eat that. It was excellent. What is it? I don't even know it's, what you're talking about. It's called an egg sack. So an egg comes in a sack? Well, it goes, it's made and then it goes down this this thing in their stomach and comes out the hiney. Okay, so it, once the chicken's dead, then you get the sack out? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like something that, I'm like, <laughs> no. I've never seen one on an egg when it's come out. We're okay. gonna get a, a live chicken into it. Sometime. Okay. The egg sack. Egg sack, yeah. What would she do with that? Bread and fry and put yep. it over gravy We too. had everything fried. <laughs> everything it was over gravy. Oh, gravy and noodles make everything good. Maybe I was hungry, but it was wonderful. When you were a kid. Yeah. Okay, our next step, we are, we have a hot pan. We're gonna put some oil in and get these babies frying. And once they're browned, then we're gonna turn them down low and let them simmer mm -hmm. for like hour, hour and a half. Cause we really gotta break down these tendons and goodies. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> All right, all three batches have been browned and look absolutely spectacular. So now we're going to put them all back in. And then we're going to put three cups of stock over it. And we may need more stock than that, but we're going to start with three cups. And have it down on low mm -hmm. with three cups of stock. And we're just going to keep checking it about every 15, 20 minutes. Wow. This looks fantastic already. We'll check on it in a little bit. Okay, 20 minutes has gone by. Just going to do a light little stir here. Wow. Nothing sticking because my pan is so amazing. Okay, we tried it, we need salt and a little flavor. So we are going to finish off my Better Than Bouillon and put in about two teaspoons of Better Than Bouillon. And we're gonna add some water too because our, our flour from our gizzards is now mixing in and oozing with all of the, um, the chicken liquid, <laughs> chicken stock. <laughs> So it's pretty thick. So we're gonna add another cup of water. Kathy, take your container from your base, fill it with water, shake it real good. With oh, yes. You've got wonderful stuff. Mommy is so smart. Well, good mommy's mom. old. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. And then, let that sit for a minute and we're gonna pour that in. Nice and thick. Need more water. I didn't put any in yet, lady. <laughs> Gosh, get off my back. Oh. Adding our flavor. There we go. We'll see how that is. We have it turned down as low as my gas will go. It is gonna be spectacular. Ooh la la. Where'd you go, huh? So are you ta taping now or? Yep, I'm taping now. All right, we are done. We are ready to try these. Uh, these homemade noodles are amazing, but like I said earlier, wide noodles from your grocery store, they're usually on the bottom shelf, like wide egg noodles, or you can get them in the freezer section and they're a little more expensive, but super good. Absolutely superb. Not good. I want to chew. It does require chewing. I hope you enjoyed this family favorite chicken and gizzards from my mom. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Please subscribe below. Click the little bell right next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications every time I post a video. 
and I would love to hear from you with a thumbs up or a comment.